Let's talk about the Einstein's mass energy equivalence. Here is the index we are going to see the Einstein's mass energy equivalence and implications of equivalence between mass and energy. So these are the areas we are going to see now. So what is Newton's second law? The acceleration of an object as produced by a net force is directly proportional to the magnitude of the net force in the same direction as the net force and inversely proportional to the mass of the object. That is referred to as Newton's second law. Suppose this guy is kicking a ball. So the acceleration is equal to the net force which is passed in the same direction where the acceleration is passed and if the ball is too much of weight it won't go. So inversely proportional. Consider a body of rest mass m0. A force F is acting in the x direction. According to Newton's second law, force is defined as the rate of change of momentum. So F is equal to d by dt of m into v. According to the theory of relativity, both mass and velocity are variables. Therefore, F is equal to m into dv by dt. So m into dv by dt and v into dm by dt. That's your force. So m is the mass, dv is the change in velocity, dm is the change in mass and dt is the change in time and v is the velocity. So it indicates the acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the magnitude of the net force. That's Newton's second law. If a body is displayed through a distance of dx due to the force f, then the increase in kinetic energy d e k of the body is d equal to f into dx. Since f equal to m into dv by dt, so replacing it, you will be getting this equation. So, differentiating it m into dv into dx by dt plus v into dm into dx by dt. As you know, dx by dt change in the displacement is nothing but the velocity. So replacing your dx by dt and dx by dt by v. From Einstein's theory of relativity, as we know, m is equal to m0 into divided by root of 1 minus v square by c square. I am going to replace m here. So for m is equal to m0 divided by root of 1 minus v square by c square. So I am replacing it like this is c square taking to the up, it will be c square minus v square divided by c square and m square is equal to, so your c square will go to the top, that is m0 c square divided by c square minus v square and moving here you will be getting this equation. So m square c square m square minus v square and m naught square c square differentiating h will be getting the equation c square as constant taking out here m square differentiation will become 2m into dm the same thing v square is constant 2m into dm and here m square into 2v into dv so here it is positive, it will become negative here. Now I removed 2 from all the equation and moving to the right side you will be getting minus will become plus here. Minus will become plus here. So I removed 2 and m from all the equation and moving it here, you will be getting c square into dm is equal to mv dv plus v square into dm. We got two equations, this one and this one. So comparing this equation, mv dv and v square dm, so it is equal to dek. So dek is equal to c square dm. Thus, the change in the kinetic energy dek is directly proportional to the change in the mass. 
So when a body is at rest, its velocity will become zero. And m is equal to m naught when its velocity is v. Its mass becomes m becomes m. Therefore, integrating the equation d k equal to c square d m from m zero to m, you will be getting this equation. From zero to e k, d k is equal to c square m naught m d m. Different integrating it, you will be getting e k is equal to c square of m minus m naught. Nothing but m c square minus m naught c square. This is the relativistic formula for kinetic energy, and m zero is the rest mass, and m zero c square is the internal energy or rest mass energy or rest energy. So the total energy is equal to the kinetic energy of the moving object plus rest mass energy. So E is equal to E k plus m naught c square. So replacing E k here, you'll be getting m c square minus m naught c square plus m naught c square. So cancelling it, you'll be getting E is equal to m c square. This is Einstein's mass energy equivalence.